given a question construct a pda for the language wcwr okay where w is a string over alphabet say a comma b and r indicates reverse okay it can be any combinations of a's and b's over here now let's first understand what are the different valid string in the language so w c w r over here and w is a string over alphabet say a comma b the smallest valid string possible would be just an empty string so w can also be an absolute so c over here acts as a separator indicating whatever symbols i have after this would be my wr okay, so reverse will also be containing an absolute so the smallest valid string would be just c in the language also i can have w has a so the reverse can is a i can have b as well reverse would be b or else i can have string ab as w so the reverse would be b a or b a has w after the separator c the reverse would be ab i can have a a has a string w so the reverse would be a a or b b as a string w reverse would be b b right so in my language i can have strings such as just c or a c a b c b a a b and so in my language i can have strings starting with an a let's suppose this is my w after the separator c the reverse would be b a b a or i can have a string starting with b let's suppose this is my string over here as w it would be reverse would be a b a b okay looking at the language over here i can identify that the last symbol of w the last symbol of w over here matches up with the first symbol of wr that is the last symbol of w will match up with the first symbol of wr similarly the second last symbol of w will match up with the second symbol of wr taking this example as well second last symbol of w will match up with the second symbol of wr also this will match over here and this will match over here. that is the first symbol will match up with the last symbol of wr now let's understand the logic considering this string over here this is my w part c is a separator and this is my wr part we have already seen that the last symbol of w the last symbol of w will match with the first symbol of wr the second last symbol of w will match with the second symbol of wr fine so how to construct a pda so let's understand the logic initially my stack top is zen not on reading a i push a to the stack on reading b next element i'll be reading is b i push b to the stack on reading a push it to the stack on reading b also push it to the stack here what i'll be doing push all elements or push all symbols of w the moment i read c i perform skip operation now after reading c whatever symbols i'll be having would be symbols of wr fine so i i already know the logic that is the last symbol of w should match with the first symbol of wr so on my stack top i'll be having the last symbol 
of W. Right? So now when I read this B, this should match up with the topmost element of this tank. If it matches, then I perform a pop operation. Similarly, next symbol I'll be reading would be an A. Okay. And my new stack top is A. If both are matching, then I'll pop up. Continue. This B, when I'm reading, my stack top is B over here. I'll pop this up if it is a match. A, on reading A, my stack top is also in A. So, I'll pop this up. Now, I know that epsilon indicates end of the string. When I read an epsilon and my stack top is Z0 over here, I can reach final state. So here's the logic. Push all symbols of W. Skip operations on reading C. Perform skip operation when you read C symbol. Pop operation to be performed if the read header and the stack top matches. Continue this process until you read an epsilon. On reading epsilon, if the stack top is M, Z0, then you reach final state. Here, yeah. I'm considering an example over here. This is my W part and this is my WR part. Okay, starting from state U0. Initially, I'll be reading an A and my stack top is Z0. On reading A, stack top is Z0. Perform push operation on A. Okay, so A will be pushed into the stack. Read header at A, stack top is A. On reading A, stack top is in A. Continue push operation. Okay. Read header at B, and here I'll be having an A, which I have pushed. On reading B, and my stack top is in A. On reading B, Stack top is an A. Perform push operation. Okay. So your B will be pushed. On reading B, stack top is B. On reading B, stack top is B. Perform push operation. This, this B is also pushed in the stack. On reading A, stack top is B. So on reading A, stack top is B, continue push operation that is, I'll be having A B. Now this is a case wherein my uh, first symbol was A. I can also have a string starting with the B, right? So to handle this case, I put up a transition that is B and my stack top was Z0. I push this B to stack. Now when I am reading C over here, I can have two cases wherein my topmost element of the stack can be an A for this example over here. Or if I have a string like this, my topmost element would be B over here. So I am saying on reading C, if my stack top is an A, I keep it as it is, that is perform skip operation or if I am reading C and my stack top is B, perform skip operation, read state Q1. After skipping C, I will be reading an A. On reading A and if my stack top is also in A, I know there is a match. On reading A, stack top is also an A, perform pop operation. That is, this A will be popped out. New stack top is now B. Read header is at B. On reading B over here, and my stack top is also B, perform pop operation. Fine. So, this B is also popped out. Now, when I'm reading B over here, my new stack top is B. There is a match, so I perform 
pop operation with the help of this transmission. Similarly, on leading A, stack top is also an A, perform pop operation with this transition. On leading A, stack top is also an A, perform pop operation. Right? So when at the end, if I see an epsilon and if my stack top is Z0, if I see an epsilon and my stack top is Z0, keep the Z0 as it is, reach final state at this Q2. Now, if suppose my string was only C, C was a part of our language over here, so I have to handle this case as well, wherein my the most smallest valid string is just a C. So at the initial state, at the initial state, if I'm reading a C, okay, if I'm reading a C and my stack top is Z0, I should be reaching final state. So this case is also handled, right? So complete your answer by defining all the seven tuples of PDA and give an example for valid and invalid string.